welcome back. Today we're going to be turning a crew neck into a collar neck, which is somewhat similar to our last video, turning a crew neck into a hoodie. But for this one, you won't need a pattern, just about three quarters of a yard of fabric. We use a few inches shorter than that, but three quarters of an inch and you'll be totally safe. Um, when it comes to the fabric that you want, um, the closer it is to the crew neck that you have, the better. But if you want a cozier cowl neck, like a thicker one for the winter, then get a thicker fabric. But if you just want it for more fashionable style, then as thin as you want will be fine. But um, it's basically as simple as that, so let's get started. Okay, when it comes to cutting out the crew neck, when you're finished, it's basically going to be a giant rectangle. And the measurements for ours, going across was 22 inches, and up and down it was 19 inches. So we are going to fold that in half. So you're going to want to cut the width, the widest measurement. You're gonna to wanna to cut that on the fold of the fabric. So basically your measurements are going to be cut in half because the width is going to be folded in half and then the length is also going to be cut in half. So that's an easier way to figure out your measurements. So if you kind of figure out like, oh, you know, this is how tall I want it to be, then just double that. And then take the circumference all the way around the neck of your crew neck, and that will be the measurements that you need to cut out of your fabric. And then we're going to just cut right along the neckline as close as you can to the ribbing. All right, the first step in full or in sewing the cowl neck is you're going to want to fold it the longest way and then sew straight down or serge if you have a serger. So once you've got that part sewn or serged, you're left with a long tube. You're going to fold right sides out and keep the seams matched up with each other. Shake it out so that you've got yourself a cowl neck. Now you're gonna want the seam right here to be directly in the back. So once you figure out the middle there, That'll be the back. This will be the front. Oops, that's upside down. And then up here is where we're going to put grommets that look like this. And you can just get these at your local fabric store or online at a sewing website. So you're going to want to measure down approximately, I don't know, three quarters of an inch right here so. And then to figure out where to place them more accurately, take the middle, which would be about five and three quarters, right here. And then from there, that measurement, then you can evenly space the two with those two measurements. And from here, we're just gonna speed through us putting in the grommets. If you want a more in-depth um, description of how to put those in, then just watch our last video of how to turn a crew neck into a hoodie. We did the same thing with the same grommets. So just go ahead and take a peek at that video if you want to know more how to do that.
Okay, so now that we've got the grommets in, we're going to go ahead and top stitch right underneath the eyelets all the way around the cowl neck just to create a channel for the string that we're going to put through. And right here, we've got this nifty little magnet that acts as a guide. And you can find that at any sewing website or fabric store, they'll have that. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do a straight stitch all around. So once you've got the cowl neck all put together and grommeted and top stitched and it looks perfect, then you're going to want to attach it to your crew neck. And by doing that, you want to figure out the very front and the very back. So you just want to match up the shoulder seams and that'll give you the exact back and the exact front. So you're going to want to line up the seam on the back of your cowl neck with the exact back of your crew neck. And right now we've got our crew neck inside out, which in my opinion makes it easier because then you just tuck the, crew, the cowl neck right inside and then you have the right sides of each together and you have nothing to worry about then. So then you wanna take the very front and match it up with the very front of the crew neck and go ahead and pin that. And then you can also go ahead and match up the front and the back and find the exact sides and pin those. And once you've got that all pinned, then you just go ahead and straight stitch or serge all the way around. And just like in our last video, we added the toggle to the string and top stitch right along the neck. Uh, but be sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in our next one. Bye.